Hello uh, students, in this model we will uh, learn today the detail about the fast and slow frequency hopping, mainly with uh, taking two examples, one uh, on the fast frequency hopping, one on the slow frequency hopping. We will uh, start today with uh, non-coherent slow frequency hopping system with MFSK data modulation. In the last module, we have already discussed about the M array FSK data modulation scheme, which will be the basic data modulation for today's cons system consideration, both for the slow frequency hopping as well as for the fast frequency hopping. In our example, we have considered a 4 FSK data modulation scheme. It means that uh, uh, for uh, a we have a m array uh, tone and uh, uh, data can be transmitted uh, selecting any one of the m tones and uh, then uh, transmitting over the air four fsk data modulation uh, scheme will uh, allow you to choose four different uh, carrier frequencies uh, from a set of m capital m is equal to 4 any one of those four carrier frequency will be able to choose for your data modulation we are considering this uh, figure 1 where actually any one of those four fsk modulation that you are choosing is uh, shown by these four smaller groups in each and every uh, hopping portion this uh, we have uh, considered here that uh, the beat stream that are entering for modulation, uh, they are having the bit duration is equal to T into T C V. Hence, the symbol duration we are having here, if I consider capital M is equal to 4, then we are having the bit duration or uh, symbol duration T S is equal to twice of C B. It means what? It means that actually we are having uh, within a symbol two bits and these two bits are uh, actually selecting the frequency tone. For example, for 1 1 our selected frequency tone will be small f 1 f 4 for your 1 0 it will be f 3 and uh, hence it will be f 2 and f 1 for the remaining 2. Another consideration is that uh, uh, the consideration of time uh, symbol time as well as the hopping time. The symbol time here will be considered as T s whereas, the hopping time will be considered as the T 8. Uh, there is a nice relation to consider to be a slow frequency hopping system it, which is like this. Uh, if your symbol duration is less than the hopping time duration, I mean the T s is uh, less than T h and not only that T h is uh, having a integer multiple of T s capital N into T s is equal to T h something like that, then only you can consider that there is a slow frequency hopping going on. I mean within a hopping time you have multiple number of the symbols getting transmitted. Another consideration here is to understand what is the modulation bandwidth, capital B here is the modulation bandwidth. Modulation bandwidth consideration will come from the consideration of this T s, is T s is my symbol duration. So, the 1 by T s will give me the duration of this frequency of this modulation frequency or tone frequency, this is 1 by T s and hence as we are having a 4 in such kind of the tones. So, your capital B will be is equal to 4 into 1 by T s in our case basically it is capital M by T s will be go giving you the duration of the modulation bandwidth. There is another understanding if I am having modulation bandwidth is equal to capital B and then what is the total spreading bandwidth. I am having a uh, several hopping frequencies available in my hand. Uh, last module I explained that in the case of the frequency hopping, we have a wide bandwidth W, which we divide over the multiple channels. 
these channels here I have shown by this. So, this is cap, uh, capital F 1, capital F 2, the hopping frequencies over the whole bandwidth W, I have divided to the total available bandwidth over such and such channels F 1, F 2, F 3, F 4 like that. So, count here we are having from F 1 to F 10, 10 different channels. So, the situation is such that I am having a bit stream coming into the coming into and then based on the bit pattern I am constituting the symbol considering two bits and uh, that uh, symbol is choosing the MFSK tone and each MFSK tone is getting hopped over a selected frequency over a selected channel which from channel will be selected by it will be selected from the capital F and that channel will be selected definitely by a set of the PN sequence. So, for example, in my case uh, the hopping is uh, such that uh, the sequence is something like this F 1, F 2, let me complete this F 3, F 4, this is F 5, this is F 6. Okay. So, my PN sequence has generated such a way that uh, it has selected first a 5. So, sequence was obviously 101 and then the sequence was uh, F 1. So, it should be actually that 0 0 1. Then it is going to F uh, 4. So, it will be 1 0 0 and then again it is going to F 6. So, it is 1 1 0. So, the sequence there is a sequence frequency synthesizer who is continuously generating the sequence and based on that generated sequence uh, the transmitted tone is getting hopped over. We are continuing in this slide the discussion of the previous one. So, as we have understood that the whole bandwidth will be the multiplication of your capital B that is the bandwidth of the modulation bandwidth multiplied by number of such stages you are having. So, finally, this W in our case as we are having 10 number of the different channel to hop and per channel we are having 4 different uh, frequencies to choose. Hence, the total bandwidth capital W will be is equal to 40 divided by T s. How did it arrive? It is something like this we understand that B is equal to our M by T s and uh, such M by T s the such B how many B's we are having here is equal to 10. So, it is uh, 10 into M by T s. So, hence we are ending up with uh, 40 by T s is the total bandwidth. Uh, remember, uh, in order to generate the 10 different frequency hop channels, in order to identify that, you need actually um, 4 bit uh, for, uh, for one of the sustained synthesizer frequencies. To generate any one of the synthesizer frequency, you need at least 4 bits to generate it. So, there is uh, one set of the bits we, who is uh, telling you how to generate and uh, what is the specification of the generation for this uh, frequency hopping synthesizer frequencies. Another is the bit sequence that you wish to transmit who is actually modulating the carrier by MFSK. Uh, in our case uh, to understand the situation we have considered the hopping within the hopping duration. Uh, the symbol duration is chosen such a way that T h by T s is equal to 2. This is our capital N that means, we can transmit to 2 MFSK symbols within the hopping duration. So, let us understand now the bit sequence is coming like this 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 and 0 1. So, the first uh, symbol is 1 1. So, hence uh, it should choose uh, small f 4. It is the MFSK tone that he is choosing is the highest tone MFSK equal to 4. And uh, then he is uh, trying to choose the hopping bandwidth. Uh, 
uh, hopping frequency sorry the hopping frequency will be governed by the incoming bit pattern so incoming bit pattern that we have seen earlier the bit pattern should be such that it was f1 it was f2 this was f3 f4 so we are first in the channel number 5 so pn sequence has first generated 101 we have chosen the channel number 5 and our MFSK tone was 4 hence the transmission should go like this. Our next bit uh, here 10 hence the symbol is 10. So, he will choose the carrier MFSK tone number 3 which is equal to my F 3 and uh, at that moment P n sequence should not there, there is no change in the hopping because within the hop duration like this within one hop duration we are allowed to send two symbols. So, hence with the same channel p n sequence is not changing its frequency and uh, it is not generating another hop frequency. Hence the second symbol is also getting transmitted in the same channel f 5, but only thing is that based on the data the modulating tone is, is has got changed. Now, after two symbol duration in the third slot uh, when the bit pattern has changed to 0 0. So, the symbol is actually 0 0 choosing the MFSK tone 1 which is the lowest tone and at this moment the p n sequence has given generated the synthesizer frequency is equal to 0 0 1. So, you are choosing channel number 1 and transmitting with the MFSK tone 1. The next beat pattern is again 0 0. So, again you are transmitting with uh, tone number 1 only. Like that if you proceed if you will be able to see that for corresponding for these two tones the tone frequency synthesizer frequency has not changed to so the channel has not changed. Here the channel has changed. So, P n sequence has generated the equivalent uh, uh, number 0 1 1 which is choosing the channel number 3 and uh, based on the beat pattern once you are at uh, frequency MFSK tone number 1 and here you are in the MFSK tone number 4. So, without changing the channel you are basically changing the uh, uh, tone you have chosen. So, with this understanding this is the way the MFSK uh, slow frequency hopping system data is generated and uh, we will quickly have a look into the receiver where actually we will uh, change uh, the receiver pattern will help us to de-hop the signal first and desynthesize the signal and we will be able to retrieve our own data weight. So, this is a typical uh, task getting performed in the receiver. In the receiver uh, dehopping synthesizer we use to dehop the incoming signal that uh, first leaves the modulation frequencies. For example, we were hopping over f 1 to f 2 to f 3 say. So, that hopping will be turned off. So, that is the meaning of dehopping and they will produce the original data bit sequences. Uh, if we are considering that we do not have any noise in the system, then the dehopping and demodulated channel bits will look like this. See after the this is a modulation bandwidth, we saw in the earlier uh, slide we saw in the earlier slide that first we have uh, we have transmitted uh, this uh, we have transmitted over the channel. So, now the channel the hopping over the channel concept is over because it was dehopped. So, now we will concentrate only on the MFSK tones we are left with once the hopping pattern is uh, uh, turned off. So, first we had the highest F 4 uh, the frequency tone F 4, then we are having the frequency tone F 3, then we are having the frequency tone F 0 simultaneously for 2 symbol period. So, like that here in the receiver we are getting bit back first the tone number F 1, first we were in the tone number say F 4, then we were in the tone number F 3, then you were in the F tone number F 1, it is not 0 it is F 1. So, we were in the tone number 4, then we were in the tone number 3 and then we were in the tone number 1. 
and uh, like that actually we are ending up with the different m f s k modulated uh, received signal and easily actually we can get uh, the, our demodulated data back because we understand that actually the highest frequency m f s k tone corresponds to the data symbols 1 1. So, this is the simplest way to understand the 4 f s k modulation scheme and uh, we can actually change the modulation from 4 f s k to 8 to 16 and to 32 to complicate the same, uh, system more and also we can actually change the hopping channel available channel bandwidth. You can divide the available bandwidth over from 2 to 4 to 8 to 10 to 16 anything you wish. Example 2, now we will talk about uh, the uh, fast frequency hopping system we are with the help of a uh, example only we will start with once again to make the understanding clear. Uh, remember again we are starting with a 4 f s k modulation scheme and remember we are having a 4 hop frequencies. So, my channel this is equal to my channel, channel I am having 4 1 f 1, f 2, f 3 and f 4 which corresponds to our understanding f 1 to f 4 like the earlier slide and here 4 f s k modulation scheme means capital M value is equal to 4, I can choose any one of these frequency tones for my transmission. And, uh, but remember it is a fast frequency hopping, so the way we will be hopping is uh, with a, uh, with the way we will be hopping is something like this, for each and every uh, transmitted uh, signal, for each and every transmitted bit, uh, the hopping will be going on. The thing is when we will define a hopping to be a fast is or slow is something like this, it is relative to the available hopping duration. If your symbol duration is actually uh, greater than the hopping duration, that means for uh, within a symbol duration there is a change in the channel, you are hopping from one frequency to the next, then this is a really fast hopping and if it is vice versa, I mean the symbol duration is uh, small compared to the hopping duration what we saw in the last slide, then this is a uh, slow frequency hopping. Here we will see the effect like this that how actually when the uh, symbol duration is larger than the hopping duration how the hopping is going on. The appropriate bandwidth uh, for this uh, 4 tone modulation can be written as B w B is equal to 4 by T h. So, what is this 1 by T h we saw actually earlier that that is the uh, separation between uh, 2 carrier M f s k tones that we have selected. So, this is equal to 1 by T h, uh, this was sorry earlier it was 1 by T s, this time actually it will be governed by because T h is the lowest possible time duration in our situation. So, here it will be 1 by T h and we have such uh, 4 uh, different tones uh, to choice. So, it will be 4 by T h in our situation in our case. And uh, the tensor total bandwidth, how will we go ahead with? Uh, we have 4 such channels, so total bandwidth will be 4 into 4 by T h, which is 16 by T h finally. And we will consider that n is equal to 2, like the earlier case, which means what? Which has, which means that we have uh, 2 hops for 4 array modulation tones. I mean, uh, this will be the point will be cleared in the next slide immediately, we will go. So, this is the situation what I we were trying to explain in the earlier one. See this is the hopping time and this is my symbol time. So, what is happening is within one symbol duration you are hopping twice and uh, this is the bandwidth of our understanding and this is the total available spread bandwidth that the expression corresponding expression is given in the earlier slide. And uh, here the time axis as usual in the it, it is on the x axis wise. The frequency hopping transmitter is uh, again we are in the m f s k modulation tone. So, the choice will be something like this. Uh, here the way the thing is coming is uh, initially we were uh, we have transmitted the bit stream like this. Bit stream came as 
1 0 then 0 0 then it came 1 1 ok. So, let us first understand for this 1 0 came for the first T s duration 1 0 within that we are having 2 bits and then we have to hop also twice. So, it is uh, by default coming like this for each and every bit you are hopping and let us understand how the p n uh, sequence is coming up. The p n sequence came like this out of the 4 hopping you choose the um, frequency channel number 1 first and then you go to channel number 3 and uh, then you come to channel number 1 once again then go to channel number 4. So, p n sequence is generating like uh, 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 like that continuously it, it came. So, what will happen when the first bit came I should be in channel number 1 ok, but what is the choice of this tone? The choice of the tone will be given by combinedly by this 1 0 the whole the total symbol. So, 1 0 is equivalently to the choice of the tone number 3 ok. And uh, so, I am considering that 0 0 corresponds, uh, corresponds to tone number 1, uh, 1 0 is uh, corresponding 0 1 is corresponding to tone number 2, 1 0 is corresponding to tone number 3. So, I am considering like this when 0 0 will come the tone number 1 will be selected, when uh, 0 1 will be coming tone number 2 will be selected, when 1 0 will be coming tone number 3 will be selected and 1 1 1 tone number 4 will be selected. These all tones are the MFSK tones ok. So, first 1 0 came, so I chose the tone number 3, but within tone number 3 I have to hop hop from where to where I have to hop from channel number 1 to channel number 3. So, what I did I for ever 1 bit and there are 2 hops. So, for 1 bit I can be in 1 channel. So, I have gone to the tone number 3, but channel number 1 this is my channel number 1, this is my channel number 2, channel number 3, channel number 4. So, see for the first bit the tone was actually 3, tone number was 3 but channel was 1. When the second beat came tone was 3, but the channel became suddenly 3. So, channel we have changed to 3. Next uh, bit was 0, but for 0 0 we understand that we have to select the MFSK tone 1. So, we selected tone 1 and we so tried to see where the channel is, channel was F 1. So, we were here and when the channel when the bit came to the fourth one then it was again 0 that means the same channel same tone will be there, but the channel suddenly changed to 4. So, for the same tone keep the same tone just change the channel. So, channel got changed from here to here, but see tone has not changed because tone was selected by the combination of this pair. So, this is the way we do it, it is very hard actually if we do any change hopping within one bit duration. Then uh, to track uh, the stuff, sometimes we do it also, but you know to track the system in such a situation will be really, really tough and those uh, systems are really very, really very fast kind of the hopping system. Next, uh, there will be a non-coherent um, fast frequency hopping uh, systems with uh, MFSK data modulation in the receiver side. In the receiver side, we, uh, we will be demo demodulating it. See, this is a frequency axis and this is the time and we are having the um, bit duration as well as the which is equivalent to my TCB also. As we have understood that uh, our bit duration will be is equal to T C B, the incoming bit duration will be is equal to the T B will be is equal to the T C B, if there is no coding involved. And as we understood that once you remove the hopping it is de hopped, 
then automatically you will be ending up with this kind of the situation. You will be all the bits who were actually in the separate channel, they will come down and side by side they will fall like this. So, the way we saw there and we will be ending up with coming here actually the bit that you will select, this is the third frequency. So, obviously, you will select the decoded bit is equal to 1 0, here the decoded bit will be 0 0, here the decoded bit will be equal to 1 1, here I am ending up with 0 1 like that automatically will come up. So, if we go and we look into the non-coherence low frequency hopping system, uh, the, the typical mathematical equations. So, we will be seeing that um, this is uh, A is the amplitude of the signal that you are transmitting, hence the power will be a square. F k is the hopping frequency that you are transmitting. If we consider the DPSK data modulation scheme, then T d is the uh, duration of that uh, data symbol. DPSK is a very uh, common and very preferable uh, modulation scheme for this so slow frequency hopping schemes. And uh, TH is the hopping duration as we have seen. So, VT will be the signal model uh, where actually this is the portion where your um, DPSK modulation is going on. This is the frequency hopping section and this is the pulse shape associated with that hopping getting considered. So, for each and every hop, uh, we understood that there will be the number of the DPSK channel bits. Those channel bits here will be considered as T H by T D because T H is the hopping duration and this is my DPSK symbol duration. So, division of that will give me definitely the channel bits per hop I am transmitting. Uh, the from the equation number 2, if we take only the way the signal is getting uh, transmitted, it will be simply the complex envelope of that V t, which is nothing but like the last module. We have seen that it will be the real plus per real part of that whole transmitted signal of the equation 2, which can be further simplified by replacing this into the power i j term as cos plus sin and we will be ending up with the equation 5. This is the simplified form of the signal that is the DPSK data modulated slow frequency hop signal that is transmitted over the air. So, this is the figure that illustrates uh, how we pack the signal before transmitting. Uh, so, these are the all the DPSK data bit, uh, data bits that will be transmitted and remember for uh, the DSSS system. So, synchronization is a very typical issue for that we usually send one or two reference channel bits to identify to estimate the frequency or the timing offset in the DSSS system and then we try to align the rest part of the frame bits. Uh, so, that we can really extract our data. Uh, remember actually once we are adding the reference channel which is does not mean that we have to add always a single reference channel bit, we can have a multiple channel bits also added here. And once we are adding that channel bits, hence given this frame, you are losing some part of the frame to transmit the reference channels. So, the in terms of the efficiency we are losing somewhere. So, there is a loss of efficiency associated in the transmission and how many number of the bits you are adding there based on that your efficiency is calculated. As here it is 1, so n minus 1 by n is the loss of efficiency. If you increase this number from 1 to some higher, so let us it is capital L. So, basically the loss of efficiency will be given by n minus uh, L by capital N. Uh, so, in some like the DPSK system, we can also go ahead with a BPSK kind of the data modulation also. The complex envelope of the frequency hopping signal with BPSK data modulations looks similar that of a DPSK one, where actually instead of my uh, modulation uh, time uh, defined by the modulation time defined by the DPSK, we will be defining it by BPSK. The rest of the part looks uh, similar where this phase pi k information is uh, this phase k is associated with the random phase that we have seen in the last module. This is a random phase associated with the generation process itself and it is uh, independent actually from hop to hop. Uh, 
uh, similar to the earlier one that uh, d j that we have added here like the d p s k here also this d j are equally equal likely random variables and they are having a plus 1 or minus 1 equally likelihood values. And uh, remember this x t can be reconstructed, x t can be formed similar with the similar logic that we have followed in the last class and uh, then uh, by expanding the exponential term we will be ending up with the simplified form of the B P S K data modulation uh, based slow frequency hopped signal. Here uh, like the D P S K case we will be having the number of the channel bits per hop time given by T H by T D. Uh, this is actually the BPSK data modulation expanding uh, explain getting explained in terms of a figure where this is the total number of the channel bits we are uh, planning to transmit. We are planning to transmit and uh, here uh, if we are thinking that there is not a selective jamming going on and uh, then actually the all the synchronization bits we usually prefer to transmit at the beginning. But if there is a chance that actually there is a selective jamming going on then we prefer to uh, distribute the synchronization bits or the channels like this here we have distributed into two different places of the whole data stream that is going on. So, this sync words uh, fundamentally can be very sufficiently large to produce a reasonable estimate of the phase and timing, but it uh, heavily depends upon the condition of the channel, condition of the jamming situation and based on which we design the sync words which is not having uh, any typical uh, conformed length issues. It is heavily, heavily de dependent on the dynamic environment and also whenever you, plus, but please remember whenever you are increasing the length of the sequence then definitely your efficiency is decreasing and uh, it will be decreased by a factor of this capital L that is uh, shown here, that is shown here. In the next module, we will uh, have a discussion on the remaining part of the two different other remaining two part of type of the uh, spectrum communication systems, what is the time hopping as well as the hybrid.